We live in a society. <laughs> as, our so as our society is progressing, so is our technology. Our technology is reaching new heights, surpassing new boundaries, making the impossible possible. Just think about everything that has progressed in the last few decades, from the eradication of many diseases to wireless and virtually instantaneous communication. Um, the ability to research information at our very fingertips were just fables of science fiction not too long ago. From smartphones equipped with social media apps like Snapchat to even modern medicine, these are all due to the advancement of technology, the advancement of our society. The potential of this technology is huge when it comes to its impact on our lives, providing us with ease and simplicity. But with that comes the apparent dark side of technology. So we hold many common misconceptions and fears when it comes to technology, the most notable including cryptocurrency and artificial intelligence. If you were, the, if you were to ask, ask someone what they thought of this technology, you'd probably hear something along the lines of, cryptocurrency is a dark scam or that AI is going to take over the world. But these things are false. And to understand why, we must first understand what these technologies are. So what is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a form of currency, like the dollar. The dollar is just a piece of paper. Through this piece of paper, we can buy an array of things, from iPhones to food to even Nicolas Cage pillows. <laughs> <laughs> However, I can't just walk into a Best Buy, hand him a random piece of paper, and walk out with an iPhone. Well, I could, but that's called theft. <laughs> that's because the paper itself is worth less than five cents. The dollar, however, has value because the U.S. government gave it worth. The U.S. government controls the dollar. Cryptocurrency, however, gets value from the technology and investors behind it. It's decentralized, so that means no one figure is controlling it, which avoids corruption. Just like stocks, you can trade cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Litecoin. The prices go up and down. Think of trading baseball or Pokemon cards. I mean, if a baseball player does good or if a Pokemon's more powerful, it becomes worth more. Cryptocurrency is relatively new, and there's a lot we don't know about it. For example, the creator of Bitcoin is anonymous, and no one knows why he created it. However, many of the world's greatest ideas weren't appreciated nor understood at their times, from electricity to shampoo. I mean, could you imagine if we couldn't access basic amenities? How many styles we couldn't pull off if our hair wasn't cooperating? I mean, without electricity, we couldn't power our homes. Research information. I wouldn't have been able to order my Nicholas Cage pillow from Amazon. Um, a negative connotation often associated with cryptocurrency is that it's used by criminals and hackers. But this is completely false. A United Nations report confirmed that cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Litecoin is 800 times, I mean, sorry. A United Nations report confirmed that fiat money such as dollars or euros is 800 times more likely to be used for illegal activities than Bitcoin. One person I know who trades Bitcoin has a sloth fanny pack, plays Disney songs on his ukulele, and plays Mario Kart during lunch. I mean, we shouldn't fear cryptocurrency just because we don't understand it. And we shouldn't let that stop us from trying out new technology. I mean, we should use technology as a way to bring us together, to make our lives easier. I mean, could you imagine if people saw something like vaccines, something that could save lives, and said, nah, that seems too risky. And come on, measles can't be that bad. <laughs> Another technology that can potentially change the way we live, but has a hidden dark side, is artificial intelligence, or AI. To many, that's just Siri on steroids, some fabled idea from Iron Man, or a robot that can think for itself and control everything on its own. However, AI is already impacting our everyday lives. For example, when you're furiously texting a friend and autocorrect fixes all your spelling errors, that's AI. Or when you search online for, let's say, a pillow, and the next day you see a bunch of ads for some interesting choices of pillows, <laughs> that's AI. And I understand it may seem creepy at times, I mean, even the idea that a robot can control everything for you and complete all your tasks seems too good to be true. It reminds me of when you were a kid walking home from school and a white van would pull over and offer you free candy. I mean, you're faced with a dilemma. 
You know you shouldn't talk to strangers, but then again, what's better than free candy? <laughs> but in reality, the whole problem of privacy is actually bizarre since the data they're collecting is actually quite small. I mean, so what if Google knows that I searched for a pillow? And you could always change your privacy settings to adjust to your needs. Another key aspect of AI that people often overlook is that it's technology that adjusts to you. Usually as new technology is released, we have to adapt to learn how to use it. We need to change our lifestyle so this new technology can make our lives easier. Take my parents, for example. Before, they didn't use their phones for things such as shopping or maps. And when I told them about the ease of this new technology, they just waved it off as unnecessary or too complicated. Even texting was something my dad deemed as too complicated. He always thought, why couldn't I call people instead of just texting them? But then, he learned, but then my parents learned about this thing called WhatsApp. The fact that you could send pictures and videos to people, anyone, anywhere, amazed them. And as an added bonus, they could play videos on full volume while I'm doing homework. I remember I would always tell my dad to just use Google Maps for GPS, but he never gave it any thought. Then one day I was talking to him and he said, hey, I found this new thing called Google Maps. It's a GPS direction and maps all in your phone. So what finally made him decide to get behind AI, he actually tried it out. He decided to give the technology a shot and it worked. And I understand that technology is something that takes time to learn. But AI adapts to you, from finding your spelling errors to recommending you the best deals for items you like. AI is learning to get used to you, to make your life more simple. In the, in the words of Steve Jobs, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. So is it really as harmful as it seems? As the world is changing, it's important to have sufficient knowledge of emerging technology, from Bitcoin to AI. This can all change the world. But why should we let fear of this new idea, the refusal to try new things, hold us back? We don't let fear depict our lives. And we shouldn't let fear or the refusal to try new technology withhold our society from progressing. Thank you.